Commander, congratulations on your successful evacuation of Beta Base. Nexus has gained access to nuclear weapons and is determined to destroy the project. You must defeat Nexus before it again uses its powers. Briefing commences. Commander, the success of the project lies with you. Take your forces to the mountains in the northern sector. When you reach the mountains, secure an LZ, then establish a forward base. Team Gamma will contact you then. For us to have any hope of survival, Nexus must be defeated. Mission Send your seven activity. combat tanks north immediately. Have your trucks build a repair bay no farther north than this, and call in your first reinforcement load of MBG units. Reinforcements are available. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Once the repair bay is done, have one truck fall back to set up a command center, power plant, and research facility, and the other two head north to mostly wall off the narrow valley entrance to our way too small starting area with anti-cyborg defenses. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. The next assault comes from apparently a tank killer firing from the next time zone over. Move your MBG to engage, but make sure they are set to retreat at heavy. These guys do so much damage that for now, retreat at medium will result in them turning around before they get to fire. Be sure to have your units move in front of retreating units if you want to save everyone. These four enemies are way tougher than they have any right to be. Despite being medium bodies on hovers, they live almost as long as our tracked heavies. The two weapons in back that look like dual Pringles with clown noses on them are capable of firing about as far as a bombard and are way more accurate than the TKs the Collective were using. The two in front are Nexus's equivalent to our cannons, featuring high all-around damage with good hit points. Even if they do look like unwrapped paper towel rolls attacking us with weaponized Morse code, and you may notice that anyone we hit starts emitting blue puffs of smoke. That is because all Nexus units can self-heal. From now on, we can't just chase off units. Anything we don't kill will return fully healed at a later time. So we have the unenviable position of having to fight things that are as tough as us, are faster, hit harder, hit farther, all while not being able to fall back until they die, otherwise we've wasted our time. And this is the first Gamma stage? Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. With a brief respite, I'll go over our main strategy. We wall ourselves off from attacks from the north while concentrating our pushes to the west until the first and most critical Nexus base is down. While bringing in the MBG in preparation for this, we are going to set up ripple rockets, but we will want no less than nine of them with a CB tower before setting up any sensors. Also, do not bring in the McShooters until the MLRS have fulfilled their counter-battery role. The Nexus artillery is... well, you'll see in a bit. 
Until the MBG and 9 Ripple rockets are up, our goal is just to hold this small area. Have your research facility focus on the MG upgrades first. While we will, of course, be grabbing all of them, the only one that affects the majority of our forces in the early parts of the stage is the machine gun damage boosts. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Nexus has CB towers, but none that cover our immediate base. Construction completed. So there's no danger, yet, of them firing at our base as long as we stay compacted back here and only let the MLRS fire at whatever moves directly into their sight range. For a stage that I was making out to be really hard, we sure do seem to be getting a lot of downtime, don't we? Don't let the lull fool you. If we were to try and push farther north than the wall I've set up, or west beyond the bend in the river, we would get smashed if our preparations weren't ready. Construction completed. Reinforcements landing. Construction completed. Assigned to commander. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Nexus cyborgs may be tougher than the collective ones, but they aren't our main worry right now. After the 9 MLRS are ready to go, it's the next wave of hover tanks we are waiting on before making a move. Get a truck up the cliffside here in preparation for when we move out. Our timing window will be narrow, and our guys aren't exactly speedy right now. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Reporting. Construction completed. Nexus's air units this stage are the off-map variety, and it's unlikely that you will kill them before they fire. The good news is they are fairly infrequent, and will stop entirely once we've accomplished the first part of this mission. Construction completed. Be aware some of them are using incendiary bombs. Trying to drive over, or replace fallen buildings, on a ground spot that is currently burning is a bad idea. Under 
structure under attack. One reporting. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Reporting. Construction completed. Reporting. Here we go. This time it's four of their souped up rocket hovers. Making sure that any retreating tank has another friendly cover him on the way back is critical to not losing anyone here, though I realize that's easier said than done given the narrow pathing. Also, have the waiting southern truck start putting up a sensor tower here. This is the moment we've been waiting for. Nexus's well timed cyborg attack at the north pass and from the west are just something we're going to have to deal with. Thankfully, the part of my MBG that is west to face them are all assault guns. As this fight is going on, there are rockets hitting us from the north, but the high HP commander is there to take the shots. I override the retreat at medium behavior to keep pushing, as for the next step to take place, I need all of the Nexus mobile units to fall while the sensor is building. Moving forward causes the north enemy hovers to push south to chase, resulting in them moving into our firing range. Admittedly, this wasn't my initial plan, but as they say, don't interrupt the enemy in the middle of him making a mistake. A quick transport load as I realize it's sitting idle, and then the sensor finishes. What's going to happen is, as soon as the sensor's up, it will spot the SAM sites around the southwest base. Our nine ripple rockets will each fire a rocket or two at one of those sites, and then Nexus's CB towers will direct their own artillery to shoot at ours, and their MLRS hurts way worse. However, as soon as the Nexus artillery fires its first rocket, all nine of our batteries will switch fire to the enemy artillery, and after the exchange is all over, our artillery will be in shambles, but theirs will be as well. This is how we get a definitive advantage on this map. Nexus forgot to build a truck. Any artillery, or anything else, we kill will stay dead, and once the half dozen Nexus batteries are silent, we can proceed to bring in the McShooters to level anything we don't want to get too close to. In other words, this happens. Construction completed. Structure under attack. All Nexus batteries down, at the cost of six of ours and the other three being hurt. But we can repair the hurt ones and replace the others. Sadly, we can't sit around and wait 10 to 15 minutes to begin an artillery campaign. You'll see why a bit later in the video, but we need to take advantage of the enemy artillery being removed to get to their southwest base ASAP, as well as have our trucks pseudo-block off the river approach to the north. Two of the upgraded MG bunkers, called rotary bunkers, and a lancer up front should do, while we send the MBG towards the west. Major research completed. Group 1 reporting. Under 
construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. We will want to place a forward repair bay on this side of the mountain so that our MBG units don't have to thread the valley needle to get fixed up. But we can't wait for it to go up before we make the first push. Nexus's direct fire defenses are too long range to set up said repair bay, so we have to get to them even if it hurts to do so. Structure under attack. Group 1 reporting. Unit under attack. Enemy base detected. Unit under attack. Well, those bunkers proved a very conveniently timed target for enemy planes, didn't they? Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit. The number of heavy units I've had escape with a sliver of health so far has been rather high, hasn't it? Go ahead and play the game of how many times do I think the Mouse Master had to replay this before he got to the point the Southwest base falls without human casualty to yourselves. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Assigned to commander. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Research completed. Reinforcements landing. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Assigned to commander. Unit under attack. 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 Construction completed. Assigned to Commander. Construction completed. Group 1 reporting. Group 1 reporting. Reporting.
Construction completed. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Structure under attack. Construction unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Major research completed. Unit under attack. Finally. One reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Group one reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. I'm going to drop a save here. We've finally reached a point where we can handle the map in a more orderly fashion, and I sure as heck don't want to go through that fun for the seventh time. Landing. Structure under attack. Construction completed. A word on our structures. For some reason, despite the Hurricane Pit having been obsoleted off the buildable list back when we got the Whirlwind Pit in Beta 5, it's made a repeat appearance. I'm sure that's just a bug in 341 and will be fixed eventually. Also, just like when the Bombard Pit replaced the Mortar Pit when moving to Beta 1, we now have an upgraded MG Bunker called the Rotary MG Bunker in our list starting in Gamma 1. However, unlike the Bombard Pit, the Rotary MG, which is effectively an assault gun bunker, doesn't seem to have obsoleted the MG bunker from the list. Again, I'm sure that's just a 341 bug. However, if this bug is in your own game, don't accidentally build the old MG bunker by accident. It's really not worth it.
Construction completed. Enemy base detected. Major research completed. I'll set up the remainder of my research labs here, and in a bit I'll put a power plant and command relay center with them. The fact is, this map is so small and tightly packed that, to have a functioning base, we basically have to colonize the whole map. No sense putting it off. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Group two reporting. Group three reporting. Construction completed. A brief scoot up the map edge with the mixed bottoms to avoid the patrolling cyborgs, and we can remove. Construction completed. Some foliage. Construction completed. Not as much fun as skyscrapers, but gotta take what you can get. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Take that, nature! Construction completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Reporting. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed.
Enemy base detected. Construction completed. Construction completed. This SAM site is going to be the stage's designated survivor. That said, it's super easy to accidentally spot it with the McSpottoms from down right of its location. I'm actually going to be making incremental saves of the game for the next 15 or so minutes as I pick apart the Northwest in case I accidentally do end up blowing it up. And I'm glad I did as I do accidentally blow it up. A few times. So, like, save your games, guys. Early and often. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Research completed. Construction completed. Major research completed. Group one reporting. Construction completed. I'm going to be setting up two mostly assault gun walls, one here, and later on, one here. The idea is to separate the northeast base from the northwest one, so that I can have the McSpottoms pick out the targets without getting flanked by that ludicrously large cyborg force I woe nellied earlier. I can't just use sensor towers for it though, as that would result in the lone SAM getting knocked out as well, and we will be wanting the full two hour timer of this stage for building. Major research completed. Construction completed. Research completed. Structure under attack.
Construction completed. Construction completed. Major research completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Research completed. Construction completed. Group one reporting. Group one reporting. Research completed. Research completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. 
Research completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Research completed. Oops. Well, good thing I made that save like 30 seconds ago. Mission Was that really necessary? Group 3 reporting. Construction completed. Research completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Under attack. Group two reporting. Under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Research completed. Structure under attack. I have Mission nothing against activity. games punishing failure, but come on, Christine, I'm wearing headphones for these recordings. Construction completed. Research completed. Power resource.
under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Structure under attack. Research completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Group two reporting. Power resource. Research completed. I'll start creeping to the northeast base now. It may seem quiet, but don't charge north. There's a reason I put up an anti-cyborg wall at the stage's start. Research completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Group three reporting.
Construction completed. Construction completed. And here's that reason now. Those were just the ones I spotted, not even close to all of them. Also, I screwed up two minutes from now and dragged that huge cyborg force to the left side of the map by accident, so let me swap to the save of didn't screw up footage. Unit under attack. Get! Mission timer activated. Construction completed. So yeah, you saw that right. Just like in Beta 4, Nexus has a factory up here that's been pushing out units since the stage began, and they are all clumped up now. If anyone is wondering if that means going after the northeast base first is a better strategy, I'll say this. It's not a bad strategy, but trying to hold off that small eastern pass with trucks while your MBG is pushing north is unpleasant. And without doing the MLRS Alpha Strike that you saw me do, you'd be under airstrikes and artillery bombardment from Nexus Super Rockets the whole time. The upside is that you'd get access to a few more oil derricks sooner, and as you can see, money is an issue this stage. If you want to try it, be my guest, as I have done it before myself, but I'm not making a Gamma 1A video. Reporting. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Fun fact, Nexus has both tank killer rocket cyborgs and ones using that new Pringles can clown nose missile launcher. While not as damaging as the tank version, the cyborg version of this missile launcher has two attributes that actually give it an edge over its tank-based counterpart. One is that it can fire at air targets as well as ground, and two is that its shots are homing, which means if the accuracy roll determines that any given shot of it is a hit, you can't dodge it by moving around real fast. Your only hope is to get another object between you and the missile, like a cliffside or your buddy Fred. I made a semi-big deal about how I think the Ground Shakers are a better choice for the artillery team. A good question to ask is, the Mouse Master, do you have any empirical evidence to back up your opinion? I do, in fact. Let me take my Ground Shakers off of hold ground to demonstrate. Now imagine I had the McSpottoms target one of the cyborgs in the back before that volley launched. Construction completed. Enemy base detected. Power resource.
So, yeah, ground shakers. Ruining the days of tightly packed cyborgs since 1999. Construction completed. Group 2 reporting. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Artifact detected. Power resource. Group 3 reporting. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Enemy base eradicated. And that's it. Nexus has been cleared of this, admittedly, really small area, but now we get to use it for ourselves, which I will do over the course of the next hour. Catch you then. Artifact recovered. One minute remaining. So, what's the setup? Construction completed. At the starting point, I have the three buildings, a few MLRS and Whirlwinds, and my group for next stage ready, consisting of three heavy bobs, three assault guns, and four tank killers. My northern wall is still up, with the four MLRS by them. I've converted this area to an airfield, and rebuilt the stored experience VTOLs. I then built four more of the Onolds, because I completely forgot how many I was supposed to make. I think I'll recycle the four unexperienced ones next stage when I have more time. The landing pads and factories have whirlwind pits around them. 
northeast edge, I have a few hellstorms and sensors. I wanted a couple more here, but ran out of time and money. Northwest edge, I also have hellstorms and whirlwinds and sensors. I also have apparently blocked off the valley north, but there is still an access point. A ramp can be used here to approach. The midfield machine guns are still up. My research center with spare power plant and relay center, along with some more hellstorms flush against the south border and MLRS behind. And down the hill are two factories and defenses covering the valley exit south. And you may have noticed I have put up rotary MGs just about everywhere. Yes, this is another case of me knowing what's coming, and therefore making this guide to prepare the viewers for a situation that may prove untenable if you just try to react to it when it happens. The reason is still a few stages out, but investing in these MG bunkers will be the best thing you've done in this campaign. Trust me. Man, I'm cutting this close. Construction completed. Enemy base. Objective accomplished. I feel like I've forgotten something. Oh, right. Technology. Mission timer activated. Our research completed. Vapor turbine generator, another passive boost to income. Systems research completed. Advanced engineering for faster build speeds and a prerequisite to both the... Structure research completed. Plascrete for defensive building survivability and... Structure research completed. Advanced base structure materials for non-defensive base survivability. Weapon research completed. High velocity armor piercing fin stabilized discarding sabo rounds. Our two anvils thank us for this. Weapon research completed. AA heat flak for the whirlwinds. Weapon research completed. Depleted uranium MG bullets. For the next three or four stages, our assault gun weapons are going to be the stars of our direct fire forces, so this upgrade is most welcome. Weapon research completed. Heap howitzer shells. For a demonstration on why this was useful, just rewind the video to when I took my ground shakers off of hold position. Weapon research completed. And the Hellstorm rotary howitzer. Structure research completed. And its emplacement. Unlike the pepper pot mortar, this weapon actually packs enough punch per shot to fulfill the role of a rapid fire artillery nicely. I still prefer my ground shakers for my artillery team, but I mix in hellstorms as the mid range artillery in my bases along with the ripple rockets for long range. Construction completed. Alright, ending screen, take two. Enemy base. Objective accomplished.